Who's the AI kingmaker right now? Claude's looking pretty good, but Google's probably gonna come out with a CLI maybe, I don't know, maybe in the next week or two. Who knows? But for the meantime, Claude Code is absolutely goaded. You have Sam, maybe you have Elon, maybe you have Bezos, but we're missing one. Right now, the candidate's Boris, our boy Boris. So we want to cover this Claude Code video. Let's get into it. This Claude Code's just Hello. a gangster. This is awesome. This is a big crowd. Who here has used Quad Code before? I have. Right here. Jesus. The boy. Awesome. That's what we like to see. Cool. So my name is Boris. I'm a member of technical staff at Anthropic and creator of Quad Code. Duh. I was struggling with what to talk about for an uh, audience that already knows Quad Code, already knows AI and all the coding tools Show and agentic the sauce, coding bro. and stuff like this. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then we'll zoom back in. So here's my TLDR. The model is moving really fast. It's on exponential. It's getting better at coding very quickly, as everyone that uses the model knows. And the product is struggling to keep up. We're trying to. I'm really curious to see where he goes with this. Is it the product is struggling to keep up? I'm assuming it's because then you don't have to build all that crap around it. You don't have to build these UIs. You don't have to have a bunch of front end engineers doing their thing. The big breakthrough was everyone thought you needed RAG, but then they came out and they're like, yo, grep is way better. And we can just fly around using that. So I'm curious to see if he's just gonna be like, yeah, this is why we went into bash. This is why we didn't need to have Claude desktop or any of this stuff. That's what I've noticed is no bloat. Trying to figure out what product to build that's good enough for a model like this. And we feel like there's so many more products that could be built for models that are this good at coding. And we're building the bare minimum, and I'll talk about why. And with Quad Code, we're trying to stay unopinionated about what the product should look like, because we don't know. So for everyone that didn't raise your hand, I think that's a 10 of you, this is how you get Quad Code. You can head to Quad AI slash code to install it. And if you look at where programming started back in the 1930s, 40s, there, were, there was like switchboards, and it was this physical thing. There was no such thing as software. And then Come sometime on, in the Morris, 1950s. Give us the sauce, bro. I'm scratching my neck looking for the sauce. Where is it? I don't need the history. I understand it's going to get easier. If we think about the UX yeah. of programming languages, this has also evolved. We just have leveled out, but the model is on an exponential, and the UX of programming is also on an exponential. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. Before, well, before text editors, this is apps invented this. And really built for these machines that didn't support scroll back and cursors or anything like that. Kind of brought it mainstream. This is what I grew up with. And I think Devin was probably okay. them. And it knows so one him. thing I'll say is a lot of the best developers aren't great at, they're different skill sets, right? Like I'm not the best developer or the best YouTuber. Pretty mid at everything actually, but I'm mid at two things. He's probably like a level 50 out of 10 on coding and building. And so it's okay for him to, he's trying to figure out what he's gonna talk about. So I just skipped over all this stuff because it's like the history of it. So what symbol is to show. I think this was also the first big third party ecosystem for IDs. Copilot was a big jump forward with single line type ahead and then multi-line type ahead. And I think Devin was probably the that reminds me, I just got access to the new Devin, so I need to make a video about that. They have a new beta coming out that's a reply to Cloud Code. First IDE that introduced this next concept and this next abstraction to the world, which is to program, you don't have to write code, you can write natural language and that becomes code. And this is something people have been trying to figure out for decades. I think Devin is the first product that broke through and took this mainstream. And the UX has evolved quickly but I think it's about to get even faster. We talked about X and we talked about programming languages and verification is a part of this too. So verification has started with manual debugging and like physically inspecting outputs. And now there's a lot of probabilistic verification, like fuzzing and vulnerability testing and like Netflix's chaos testing and things like that. And so with all this in mind, Claude Code's approach is a little different. It's to start with a terminal and to give you as low level access to the model as possible in a way that you can still be productive. So we want the model to be useful for you. We also want to get, we want to be unopinionated and we want to get out of the way. So we don't give you a bunch of flashy UI. We don't try to put a bunch of scaffolding in the way. Some of this is we're a model company at Anthropic and we make models. 
I will say Augie is still, it's still better at context. So cheers to that. And we want people to experience those models. But I think another part is we actually just don't know. Like we don't know what the right UX is. So we're starting simple. And so Cloud Code, it's intentionally simple. It's intentionally general. It shows off the model in the ways that matter to us, which is they can use all your tools and they can fit into all your workflows. So you can figure out how to use the model in this world where the UX of using code and using models is changing so fast. And so this is my second point. The model just keeps getting better. And this is the better lesson. I have, it, I have this framed and taped to the side of my wall. Now I got to get this framed and taped to the side of my wall. Isn't this the guy that did React or no? Well, Rich Sutton, he looks smart. So I'll tell you that. You don't look like that and not, look at that. He's seen, he's seen some stuff for sure. What a guy. He's probably a genius. Anyways. Because the more general model always wins and the model increases in capability exponentially. And there are many corollaries to this. Everything around the model is also increasing exponentially. And the more general thing, even around the model usually wins. That was it. That's all they gave us. Boris is a good guy. I think you should go and read this Southbridge guy. He explains how it works. Pretty dang dope. There's this control loop thingy, single async generator function. Very cool. And then I believe I posted this in a thread. She can follow me on Twitter. And if you go here to do, I made a piano, just so important, but no. I posted in here the anatomy of the cloud prompts and then where is it? Oh yeah, Boris wrote this. So forward slash engineering, forward slash cloud codes, best practices, and just go gobble that up. It's absolutely amazing. The best parts in it, if I were just to do a quick highlight, are how to use it to do TDD, where you ask it to write the test based on the expected input output pairs, be explicit about the fact that you're doing test driven development so that it avoids creating mock implementations even for functionality that doesn't exist yet in the code base, and then tell it to run the test and confirm if they fail, explicitly telling it not to write any implementation code at this stage is often helpful. And then you ask it to commit the tests, and then you ask it to write the code that passes the tests, instructing it not to modify the tests. So literally, just go read the manual, bro. It's so helpful. It's such a game changer. You can do code base Q&A, and obviously, what else? doing PRs, having a PR flow. These are the explainers of here's a bad prompt and here's a good prompt. You probably know that stuff. You can paste in images, duh, control V. Yeah. One thing that I found really helpful is actually forking. So let's do a real. So I mentioned earlier in the video how Augie's still better at doing this stuff, but if I wanted to do Claude and I wanted to go back in time to a previous conversation, then I could just do, I think it's just continue, or sorry, resume. And all the messages are associated with this code base. So I can just go into whichever one, pick one, hit enter, and then it starts from there. Very helpful. It's a fork of it. So yeah, shout out Boris, shout out, shout out Claude team. You should go and join VAI. There's a bunch of builders in there. We yap about this stuff all day. Like the video if you learned one thing and subscribe to stay in touch with all the stuff that's coming. Peace. I, why don't they have bloopers anymore? This is the blooper reel. So this will go at the end of the video. But I'm making this as a joke. Get the people going. And I'm like about to puke just looking at this guy's head. Oh my God. Ugh, I don't know, man. Jeff, you're not looking so good. So how do I do this? I want to use this and then I want to do that. And then when you want to get decent at video or photo editing, all you do is you drop the saturation. So we'll pull this bad Jackson up and boom, now he's blended. Cool. So we'll just do this. And it's funny, you don't want it to be too good because this is not, I'm not trying to win an award. So I'll just put that there. The joke will land and then we want to put in like Elon. Yeah. Oh my gosh. These are some brutal photos. Okay. Let's just grab his neck. These are some tough shots. Okay. So I think for the video, I'm going to be making a joke about how Boris from Claude Code is this, he's going to get on here. 
But I think it'd be funnier if I said the guy from Cluey, which is like this hype startup that feels like the guy from like Silicon Valley, the show. So what I'll do is I, ideally I could flip these on and off. Yeah. So when we first, there was Elon or Bezos, Jeff, then there was Elon, which we need to desaturate. Boom. And then fine. And then there was, and then there was Sam. 